Hi everybody, it's uh, Joe here. I'm a data engineer, work here in Dublin, Ireland. Um, so welcome to the channel, if it's your first time. Uh, we do weekly blog posts, video tutorials, and live streams on everything in any data analytics. So today we're gonna to talk about uh, type error, non-typed object is not iterable. I'm gonna take you to how to reproduce the problem, explain what, the, what it actually, how it is and how it occurs, and then how we can fix it. So let's hop over to the program, have a look at it, and we'll see you in a second. Right, so uh, today we're going to talk about type error, non-type is uh, not iterable. So I suppose to get to the bottom of this, um, first of all, we need to understand a couple of things before you can actually understand how, what the error is and how it occurs. So uh, when you're working with data, or obviously working with data types, there's different data types. And what you can have is you can have values that are integers or values that are empty. And uh, non-type is usually associated, well, is, is associated with values that are empty. So essentially, when you think about uh, the data type non-type, you could say, well, you could count something and somebody could ask you, how much did you count there? It has zero. So it physically would say on a database table, if you had a column for that, you would say zero. But then separately, somebody could say count for it, but you didn't do anything. So essentially, what's re what you're returning is nothing empty an empty value because you counted nothing you're not actually returning a value and that's where a non type comes in so a non type is essentially anything that's empty now theoretically non type and um uh, say an integer and value zero are theoretically the same but they're not um in the computing world and the programming world well they may represent in your mind and logically the same thing they're actually two different things and they're actually two different data types so Today what we're going to do is just talk you through the, this problem when you come across it, how you can fix it, um, how you can recognize it and how you can fix it. So on the screen here, um, what we have is a, a value called A, a variable, okay? Um, what we've done is we've valued, we've actually assigned it the value, um, assigned A to the value none. Okay, so essentially when we ran this logic, right, what happened was, if you can see it here down in the left-hand corner, I'm just going to highlight it here. First of all, I gave up the error, okay? It's the error trying to fix. We'll go through that in a second. But it actually says that uh, non A is actually a day's type, non type. So when you're actually trying to loop over something, if it's empty and it has nothing, um, this problem here to watch this video for will actually throw up the error. So here um, we have a loop, right? So we know that A is none. A non data type means basically means it's empty. So you can't loop you can't loop over anything that has no values in it. And essentially that's what the crux of this whole issue is. If you get this error, type error, non type object is not iterable, you will essentially get um, this error because it's empty. So here what we've done is I said we've basically created the value A, assigned a non data type, which is basically nothing. And then we've printed it, and then we've tried to loop over it. So we're basically saying for i and a, which is this value here, which is empty, print i. So that's why logically you would get, you can't loop over anything that's an empty value um, that basically has nothing in it. So if we change this, we could also, we could fix this in a number of ways, right? So one way you could do it is if you didn't want to return none type, you could actually assign a to a string to say zero. Okay, so if we did this, okay, and run, okay, it would give you back class of string and value zero. So essentially, if you didn't want to get this error and you wanted to fix it, one way to do it is just assign the variable that you're trying to loop over uh, a value of zero within uh, in close uh, commas. Um, another way you could do it um, is you could create a list, right? So let's just do this, say zero, uh, one, so two, so three. Okay, and if we do this, okay, and what that does is actually it's assigned a to a list, and uh, now and it's so that's your list here, and there's your class. It shows it there, and it's basically obviously printed out, and then we've looped, we've looped for each value, we basically printed it out here. So essentially, um, in a nutshell, uh, when you're getting this value, it's always important to check that when you're looping, you're getting this value, what has been passed in and is returning any values. 
and are the values actually is there a physical value what you need is a vis physical value if you're not getting um if you're not getting any values in this return and the none type empty you're going to get this error when you're looping so the best thing to do is do what i did here is just basically assign values you could change that zero one two three to just uh, anything like zero zero zeros anything like that or anything as a value all it's the program is doing is it's looking for a value and once it finds it it bases that oh, i can loop over that and i can return the values and no errors will occur so that's how you fix type error and non-type is not iterable. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video today. I hope you've got uh, learned from it and I hope you've basically been able to solve any problems you may have in your data analytics project. So as I said at the start, we do weekly da data project, we, sorry, we do weekly um, live posts, blog posts, uh, live streams and um, video tutorials on everything in data analytics. Uh, please like subscribe we're trying to build a channel we're trying to hit thousand subscribers at the moment so we really appreciate your subscription please share with your friends uh, work colleagues or anything you might anybody you might see I'm interested in this we do post weekly videos so um, we'll be doing more soon and more trying to uh, trying to make it as relevant as it can so as i said like and subscribe and we'll see you soon take care and look after yourself